Hi, this is Cole from Printalot. Um, right, I'm just going to run through what um, what found out uh, by uh, some helpful people, and obviously on the Riprap forums on what's happening with the ramps overheating. Now, been shocking. Bought myself a new ramps. Also got myself a MK2 hotbed. Um, for the simple fact that it was the hotbed that I had that was overheating and burnt out. The uh, I, I was pointing out the heat sink, but it's not actually heat sink. It's obviously the feet, which is the FET uh, connector to the board which is mainly there for the heat bed and that's like a, a resist resistor to the ampage and the, the voltage to your heat bed now, I have a silicon based heat bed which is 300 by 300 millimeters um, obviously not designed for rip wrap um, and basically this works at uh, with a little bit of research and help from the guy that I bought it off of is 11.5 amps now these feet the FETs uh, are basically around 11 amps so we're right on the button here yeah obviously too much because it's a big old bed for it to heat up so it's drawing too much ampage through this part now the solution on the rip wrap uh, forums is you can upgrade these. Um, now took this apart. I don't know if you can see that, but and also on my last video you saw it actually move. We actually melted. Um, I don't know if the board is actually salvageable, but uh, also it's melted the actual plastic connectors where you what uh, your heat bed. Is actually attached to <clears throat> obviously where this is blown it's just making a complete circuit and just drawed everything through that's why it heated up so quickly so anyway I'm, I'm keeping this uh, simply for the fact that once I've assembled my new ramps with just a, a standard MK2 heat, uh, heat bed for my Lutrac 3D printer without belts and get it running and I'm going to go back to this and I'm actually going to buy the upgrade for that there is another solution as well where in between the heat bed and your ramps board you have a, a relay I'm not 100% sure how that works yet I'm going to look into a bit more of that as well but my first port of call is going to be replace the FET um, so hopefully it disperses more of the heat from the board um, yeah, and then <clears throat> once I've upgraded this, then I'm going to retry this silicon bed because it actually sits perfectly. It's 300 by 300, and it's exactly what we need for the Lutrec build. So, just a little quick update that's what this is all about. Um, hopefully, helped someone else out that may be having the same problem because obviously I'm not the only one who's had this issue in the past with the ramps board and just to pre-warn anybody out there that's going to try a silicon based heat bed um, just to make sure all the ampage is right for your board um, unfortunately <laughs> the guy that I bought this off of still will not give me the link to the board info I seem to be getting all my info through him so it's like this is third hand information um, I'm expecting because the, the board was a lot cheaper than what I bought it for but nevertheless got it now um, have the info and I've got a, a ramps 
a busted ramps. Um, that should not have happened. We've obviously had all the information from the start. But I can now play with this. Yeah. So got my new new ramps. I bought myself some extra stepper drivers as well because I blew out a few on the old ramps. So pretty should be pretty easy to sort out any problems that I've got with my Lutrec motion. Um, also if anybody can help with actually um, actually telling me if there's a way of actually working out the quality of the components on a ramp board. Um, it'd be a major help and I think it'd be a good piece of information to be added to the the bottom of this video for other people that are buying cheaper uh, ramps boards off of eBay and other sources um, and then finding out obviously they've been stitched up with components that may not even do what they said <laughs> or what they're meant to do you know, there's a lot of con artists out there that are knocking out really ropey um, versions of this ramps which is a bit of a shame because it always hinders us and wastes our money on our projects so anyway thanks guys and hopefully the next video will be with the Lutrec running fairly smoothly thank you very much